many moons ago, on the distant planet of Gygax. A nameless evil reigned supreme. This ruthless being had amassed power beyond measure, and was preparing to strike down all that was good and just in the universe. Before he could fulfill his dark destiny, the forces of light banded together, and in their most desperate hour, toppled the Dark One from his throne. He was imprisoned in a place far beyond reach, for if he were ever to be released, it would spell certain doom for all existence. Okay, here's the deal, man. Winner is champion of the universe. Loser gets buried a lot. Got it? That's fair. Ready, set, crazy ball! Points for me. Oh, get you at the switcheroo, crumb scum. Just you watch. Buckle up for a dirt sandwich, you little maniac. Those it'll do something? No. I'm the crazy ball champion, so I get all the treasures. Right. Of course. Time for bed. Dad? You okay, sport? Is there a such thing as monsters? Well, here's the thing, Luke. In a lot of ways, humans are the real monsters. So I'd say yes. Okay. What your genius father is trying to say is no, there's no such thing as monsters. What happened to your head? <laughs> Somebody lost a crazy ball. Again? Mimi, I don't want to keep going through this, okay? Remember what we said last time you were playing kooky ball? It's crazy ball! Plus, it's not even my fault. Check the tapes. Luke sucks. It doesn't matter, okay? You need to take it easy on your brother. He won't want to play with you anymore. What's the deal with monsters? Are they fake? Are they real? All the above. Yeah, what, what's with all the monster talk tonight? It's just that, is that our monsters coming to kill us? Got to make sure they... 
Could you make sure they kill Luke first? That's harsh. But okay. Mimi, that's a horrible thing to say. Why? Dismissed. Good night, wacko. <gasps> Dad! Shop in town that's gonna want this crap! It's all garbage. Why did that old guy put up such a fight when we busted in? I think I sprained my wrist clocking that geezer. Look at this. Why the hell would you even grab this? Suck my dick, asshole. It was dark. And that's a nice frame. <laughs> Not anymore. The hell did you say, buddy? <laughs> A variation of the Aronian tongue. How primitive. Let's just get out of here. This guy's on something. Hey, you dickless shit. We already killed one asshole tonight, and we'll gladly do it again! <laughs> This is a really big hole. How did you even dig this, huh? All right, first I want to say, great job on the hole, son. Thanks. Second, I want to say, this is completely unacceptable. Oh. Somebody's gonna have to fill this in. Anybody. One of you, even. Uh, I vote dad. Me too. Yeah, me three. And, and if I, when I vote, I will vote for all of you three. No. As a family. No. Mm. Teamwork. It doesn't work that way. All right. So much for democracy, huh? Do the dishes, Greg. What made these? If I had to guess, I'd say some wino was on his way home from a bender last night. Thought he could uh, evil Knievel his way over this hole and fell in. What else could it be, really? Maybe a raccoon. That doesn't make any damn sense. Oh! Oh! Oh, my hand. Uh, are you okay? Oh, God, my hand. Well, that didn't take long. Oh! 
Oh, it hurts so bad, okay. Susan. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, Susan. Ow. Don't even look at it. It hurts. Did you see the size of those freaking claw marks? We need to tell somebody what happened. Maybe we should go to the police? I don't trust cops. Not one bit. We're gonna go search ourselves tonight. That's crazy. We don't know what was down there. What's crazy is what a stupid wiener you can be sometimes. Pull off your diapers. Because we're gonna go find and crawl out of your grave last night like a couple of real American heroes. <laughs> can you dig it? Yeah. I dig it. Hey, man. Hey, Alistair. You beat Rage Master 64 yet? Yeah, man. Medium difficulty. Hey, cutie. No way. You look good in your little outfit there. Why don't you give us a spin, hunky boy? Um, no thanks. Never mind. My math. Is your sister crazy? Steps on. Duh, when has dad ever been right about anything? Yeah, good point. I'm not going in there. Here, take this. I call it the loot killer. It'll protect you. How the hell does this work? <laughs> Ow! The damn thing cut me! He's using it wrong. Don't kill her more like I'm gonna kill you. Oh, oh Mimi, wait. Oh, crap. thing in here is me. We should get out of here. Hey, creep! We know you're in here. Show yourself, or... or I'll break you into a pile of bones? No, that wasn't good. This is super dumb. Let's go. Buster. Stop messing around and explain, scum.
Chairman Dyer One. Whoever wields it is able to command me for as long as it's in their possession. But know this, child. The power you wield will be short-lived. Sure, sure. But first, let's test this baby out. All right, Monster Mash. Pick up my bro and, uh, spin him around a bunch. Hey, come on! Oh. It hurts! All right, put the crybaby down. Enough! The longer we play these childish games, the more horrifying your deaths will be. This is but a small example of what I am capable of. His eternal pain will take his mind beyond the furthest reaches of madness. Preserved in an endless state of... No! He was my masterpiece! Oh. S sorry, man. Thank you. Do you have a name? Monster Man? No name can encompass my dark will. Though my enemies will sometimes refer to me as the Archduke of Nightmares. Oh, well, that sucks. Never mind. We can workshop this. Lou! Oh, oh, yeah? I want names. Uh, be fresh. They gotta be cool. Go. We can't name it. He's gonna kill us. Ah, you would pray for something so simple. I will drink your endless screams as I rip! Manosaurus Flex. That's not bad, actually. Uh, Rexor Thundrax? Cobralore Colin. Revenge X Bad. Heartless Cream. Oh, oh, Rip Lord. How about Shadow Slammer? Or even Murder Man? Nemesis Grim Knight? No, too sinister. How about Dark Lord of Wonderful Smooches? I will never accept such a title. Stop running and clap your hands, you know, for a while at least. How about Psycho Man? Mm, Gore Man? That's it. Did I get it? No. Stop that annoying clapping! His name will be... Psycho Gorman! Or PG for short. I don't see how that's better than Archduke of Nightmares. Psycho Gorman. That's great. It's fun, it's hip, it's wow, and it's now. You're making a terrible mistake, you putrid little creature. Soon I'll get the gem back, and when I do. Nice to meet you, PG. I'm Mimi. And I'm Luke. <gasps> Is unimaginable to your simple minds. Soon you will beg me for mercy, but know that you will only receive pain. Knock knock. What? Knock knock. Have you succumbed to madness already? Just say who's there already. Jeez, what planet are you from? Gygax. Who's there? Me. Crazy Ball Champion of the Universe! And the champion says... Go over there, sit down, shut up, and wait for us to come back in the morning. You dig? Dig... what? Go! You will suffer an eternity for this! favorite shows are. Do you think he likes grilled cheeses and tacos? We should bring him some welcome goodies before we take him out on the town. What do you mean, take him out on the town? What? I gotta show him off. I'll be the coolest kid in school. He's gonna kill everybody if we take him anywhere. No, he won't. Not unless I tell him to. Mimi, I'm pretty good at going along with your crazy ideas, but we need to think about this one. Fine. I should probably teach him some cool tricks anyways. See what kind of slick stuff he can do. Watch out, world. It's Mimi's time to shine.
resonance and confirmed our suspicions. The ultimate evil has awoken. How can this be possible? Who could have deciphered the sequence that released the gem of Proxidite? I approved the sequence myself. Whoever solved it must have intelligence that far surpasses our own. Which is a notion that I find quite preposterous, I must say. <laughs> preposterous. That's right. <laughs> Enough. Our mistake was being merciful to that demon, instead of wiping him from the galaxy forever. It is clear that the rules of the Gygaxian Unity Accords have failed us. What do you suggest we do, Templar Pandora? It's time to enact justice through the Templar Code. There will be no trial for that abomination. The only verdict is for him to die by my hand. He has single-handedly extinguished entire planets from existence. How do you expect to defeat him on your own, hmm? I do not fear him. I have faith that the gods will watch over and protect me. Sounds like a load of superstitious nonsense to me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no, 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 I didn't say anything. You don't believe me? I'll believe you, Templar. It's just the boys having a laugh and... <laughs> just a bit of... Just um... what? I think it's an excellent plan, so why don't we just move on? L lots of things to discuss here. So... Ah! Do you not believe that it is my destiny to vanquish this darkness from the universe? I would be... Never forget that it was we, the Templars, that cleansed your worlds of the Dark One's scourge. It was the will of the gods that saved you, and they can just as easily have you all wiped from existence. Remember this. Yes, you're very kind. What are the creatures of this planet? Humans, no others. Bring me one of these human things. Where am I? Come here, my dear. Don't be afraid. <laughs> escape us this time. The light of heaven will always extinguish the darkness of evil. He's this big, scary monster that wants to kill everybody. Huh? Whoa. Hey, could one of you guys help me with this? No, thanks. Whoa. Holy crud. I know, right? PG, wake up. Wake up. I want you to meet our friend Alistair. Wait, were we supposed to beat him? You alive, buddy? Stop! Nice try. Anyways, I 
Monster, this is Psycho Gorman, or PG for short. Silence! Okay. We brought you some reading material, PG, and a TV to watch. Did you sleep okay? I'm sorry we didn't bring any pornos. Petty displays of wealth. How can your short lifespans allow such narcissism? Yeah, but look at all the hunky boys. I do not care for hunky boys. PG, can I ask you something? No! PG, I don't like that attitude. Be nice, please. Luke, ask again. Can I ask you something? What? What are you? a tale bathed in the blood of a million dead memories. I was born in a time before time, on the planet Gygax, a world light years from your own. My entire existence was servitude, under the rule of beings that claimed to serve a higher power that governed over us all. These entities, known as the Templars, had no more divine purpose than the dirt I excavated to help build their churches. But still, they were able to crush the people of Gygax beneath their gilded heels. The Templars preached to us their holy scriptures declaring their rightful ownership of Gygax. To them, we were nothing more than parasites trespassing on hallowed ground. <laughs>
Well, that boring dumb story made me tired. Let's go, guys. PG, your homework is to watch more TV and learn how to be more fun. Otherwise, I will have to punish you. Mm. Well, it was nice meeting you. It would be nicer if you were dead. All right, bye. She runs through this box. It might be enough. Spirits of the Electroverse, find my world and alert the Paladin's Obsidian that their master walks again. The gem of Paraxodyke has been taken by two brainless meat children. You must obtain the gem, even if it has to be pried from their tiny dead hands. Thanks for having me stay over for dinner, Mrs. Hogbeck. Glad to have you, Alistair. Yes. Very glad to have you. Now, I was busy filling in that hole in the backyard, so unfortunately, Mr. Hallenbeck had the pleasure of playing Master Chef tonight. How great is this chicken, Alistair? It's my special recipe. It's, uh, uh... It's a little tough, Dad. The microwave will do that, but it sure brings out the flavor. What did you three maniacs get up to? We... Um... Ow! We were playing guns in the forest. Guns? Now that sounds like fun. Back when I was in the army, we used to play guns all the time. Except it was called the Iraq War. And you played for keeps. Meaning you kill people. Okay, don't listen to G.I. Joker over here. He's never fired a gun in his life. Anyways. Can me and Alistair play video games? Mm-hmm. Just put your plates by the sink, okay, honey? But, Alistair, games are for nerds. Wouldn't you rather go in the driveway and throw basketballs at Luke or something? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. But I just really want to play some vids. Come on, let's go. I'll play by myself, then. Hey, Mimi. Can you come back and finish your broccoli, No, please? I cannot, because champions don't eat broccoli. Well, she finished my delicious chicken. And in the end, isn't that all that really matters? No, she didn't. Kyle put all his peeds in a bag and sold them to Mason for five bucks. Isn't that crazy? Dude, what's he gonna do with a bag of pubes? What the frig are you doing? What? Took you long enough. I don't have all night. Time is a false construct that only exists for primitive beings unable to phase into the ninth dimension. Also, I got lost. Mimi! What the heck are you doing? He can't be here. He can be wherever I want him to be. Remember? Heads up, dumpy butt. Who was I? This reminds me of an ancient torture technique I learned from the worms of Janus many moons ago. They would pelt their prisoners. Should I go? This is getting a little weird. Those were good people. Those worms. I don't care about your stupid ancient techniques. Unless they can make Alistair stop being such a freaking doink. I once used my dark magic to help the warlord of Zetonia seduce the moon princess. I can do the same for you if you wish. You can make him want to chuck basketballs with me. All right. I'm going to bounce. Good night, everybody. Do it. So be it. Your wish is my command. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Greg? Yes, Bertie. What did you do to the microwave? Cooked a great meal for my family, that's what. You're welcome. It's totally wrecked. You're Oh my god. Oh 
For short. I don't care what his name is. You need to call the police. Are you kidding me? What's a cop gonna do against this thing? Is he gonna kill us? No way. Paige's a big softy. He wouldn't hurt anybody. Right, buddy? My entire existence is built on death and destruction. I will kill you both. No, 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 you won't. Paige's just being a goof. He's family now. Don't worry. Be worried. When I'm free of your daughter's control, I will bathe in your blood. Ah! PG, you're such a wag job! <coughs> I will kill you. I will kill you. I will kill you. schedule. I'm rolling at 10, and then a light picnic brunch, which will have to wrap up around noon so that mom can take us to the grocery store. I've set aside four hours for baking, so hopefully that's enough time to bake all 12 cakes. My face could do that. What do you eat back at home, PG? Food is not only for sustenance back on Gygax. It's part of an honor code. To be eaten is considered a warrior's death. I remember during the battle on the Bridge of Souls. I got it! Here's the new plan. Six hours for baking, and we push upside down karaoke to Sunday. Bill! Just, just that. Of course it does. Case closed. Judge Mimi will return after these messages. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I was gonna eat those. 
think you've had enough of that, so champion's gotta go too. So good. What I'm about to teach you today is confidential. The government cannot, under any circumstances, find out about this game. Got it? Okay, so there's two teams. Each team starts by throwing their balls as far away. So you gotta run and get the other team's balls and chuck them at your opponents. The other player and throws their ball like as high as they can. jumping jack and gets you a point. Then. Whoever gets hit, but only while the opposing player is doing the But frames. there is a special move called the switcheroo, which happens when two balls collide in midair. And when that happens, whoever punches their opponent first gets all of the other team's points plus one. Okay. The game ends when you reach 67 points. I have no idea what's going on to you. <laughs> Get away from the kids! Right now! What the hell is that? Man? Oh, just remember your training! There's no time! Shoot out! I should have let those hit you. We up, PG! We don't have all day! You are the protectors of this realm. I was expecting something a bit more impressive. Who are you? Who am I? Let me show you, Law Dealer.
Tell your people darkness has fallen. Resist the eclipse of my power again, and I will not show you the mercy I've shown your friend. Run. starts by throwing their ball as far away from the other team as possible. Do you get it? <laughs> See? He gets it. Glad one of you monster boys understands. That soulless husk is just telling you what you want to hear. <sighs> Whatever. You're dumb. I get it. Let's play! Uh. Oh, I guess Alistair's done for the day. Bye, Alistair. I hope you're back in the Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. It's just... What? Do you think I'll ever be normal again? Probably not. But who cares? I like you just the way you are. Uh, oh. Okay. Bye, Alistair! You beautiful blonde! works in a lot of different ways. If you stub your toe, you can be like, ow, my freaking toe! Or if you see something weird or crazy, you can be like, what the frick? But the best one is when you're telling someone off. You can be like, you tell him to him, Luke. Frig off. Frig off. Use that on someone you really hate. <laughs> <laughs> this? Some kind of special card? What is this junk? I told you guys to write me love letters telling me how amazing I was. What a waste of beautiful card. What is love? You know, have you ever felt all warm and fuzzy about somebody? Like when you rip out your enemy's spine and display it to their grieving family? No, not, no, not exactly. Love is... Love is a happy feeling towards somebody you care about. You feel complete. Even if you didn't think you were missing something in the first place. All I feel is anger and hate. I will never be whole. Don't worry about it, PG. Love is for losers anyway. Oh, yeah? I thought you were so in love with Alistair. That doesn't count. We're just friends that are going to get married and be together forever. And fight a lot, like Mom and Dad do. PG, I don't like the way Luke's making fun of me. Kill him, please. <sighs> no, please. No, please. No. <sighs> Just kidding. Your face. You're so scary, cat. And you're doing so well. No! So close. That's it. Now you get to pull the wagon. Faster, you dog!
I'm searching for a nameless evil that was buried here long ago. He's awoken, and has most likely slaughtered half your people already. Have you seen him? No offense, ma'am, but that description is a little vague. Well, I've seen him. The thing that killed Fitz! Damn it, O'Brien, didn't you listen to a thing that this poor man said? No. God, you're a dumbass. I must find him. Give me everything. your friends why don't you introduce us don't look very friendly ah uh, yes paladins this is Mimi and her brother it's Luke you should know my name by now they are the humans responsible for freeing me so that's right you're welcome Mimi has the gem of Paraxidike. Don't worry, she doesn't know how to use it. You may... kill them now. <laughs> you fool! Why would we do that? Excuse me? We like things the way they are. You must be joking. Far from it, Master. We are quite content with running the fifth moon of Gygax ourselves, sharing the duties equally. We take turns as the appointed leader, so everyone gets a fair chance. As you can see, it is currently my turn. Let me guess. You made a deal with those righteous idiots, the Templars. In exchange for your imprisonment. They agreed to spare us any further inconveniences. I put my trust in the worst the galaxy has to offer, and this is how you repay me? I should have known better. Except for you, Cassius 3000. I always knew I couldn't trust you. <laughs> Come on. We all knew this day was coming. So why don't you lay down and die like a good little boy? Mm, like a good little boy. Imbeciles! Pandora's crusade will not stop with me. Her gaze will fall upon your wretched hide soon enough. Your shared crown is nothing but a symbol of your own incompetence. Then we will trade this crown for one made from your shattered skull! Kill him! Did you jerk? Stop right there! <laughs> what? No! told them to kill me! They're gonna kill you instead. See how you like it. gonna go on for what do you mean i mean shouldn't he apologize or something yeah, that's right hey pg what apologize i'm sorry not good enough let's try this again but this time you gotta really mean it Arula never apologizes it's a betrayal of everything i stand for i would die because... yes 
scream for me. Fine. You don't want to give me a real apology? That's your problem. Come on, Luke. Wait. Wait. Yeah, do you have something you'd like to say? I am truly sorry, little creature. Great. Apology accepted. Now is that so hard? Uh, Go get him, dude! TV. 
In other news, I'm gonna take a couple weeks off work till my hand can heal completely. So you might wanna pick up a few extra shifts at the pharmacy. Until pay for this beauty. No! Hey! What the frig? Maybe you should pull up your pants, huh? Just hike them up, pack up your precious TV, get your lazy ass out of lazy. this house. Lazy? How dare you? You know how much I hate that word. My parents used it, my teachers used it, and now you? Shame on you, Susan. I you were better than that. Hmm. You know what I hate, Greg? I hate how you will find any excuse you can not to go to work, help with the kids, do anything whatsoever around the house. Oh, I, I don't do a damn thing, huh? Let's have it. What do you do? Huh? I'm waiting. Oh, you think you're freaking better than me, huh? You think you're freaking better than me? Huh? Well, I have a BA in English. What have you done with your life? Huh? What have you done with your life? I ask you. Sorry, PG. You should be. This is all you're doing. Could you move over and make room for my wagon, please? <sighs> Thanks, bud. You think I'm lazy, PG? Talking to kids, kids, get out of the truck and come inside. Why? Who's the skirt? She needs to talk to your friend, okay? It isn't safe out here. Come, children. You don't want to be anywhere near that thing. <laughs> Pandora, I see you've come to cleanse the universe of me once again. Immaculate timing, as always. Drop the disguise and show these humans the face they will bow to. Once you enslave them into endless servitude. Endless servitude? Sounds like being married to you, Susan. Greg, shut up and get out of the truck. Kids, come inside, okay? Let these two figure their shit out. Dad, don't. Just do what she says, child. I will not ask you again. Uh, excuse me? You don't talk to me like that. Luke, there's butter there. You go beat her up and we'll drive away. She doesn't look that tough. Do not let her weak human skin fool you. She will strike you down immediately. Good to know. Thanks, PG. Uh, Luke, beat her up. But, but 
PG just said. Oh, shut up, you wiener, and go fight her like a hero! Do it now! <laughs> no one, Mimi. I can't. I just can't. You go beat up that lady right now! Uh, I'll bash your brains if you don't. This has gone too far. I've had enough. You can't push me around anymore. Fine, then you're out of the band. Greg, for once in your lazy ass life, you don't actually have to do anything, okay? Just get out of the truck and come inside. How's this for lazy, Susan? We must act fast before he's able to regenerate. This beast will consume all the light in the universe if we don't stop him. Okay, so what do we do? Follow me. Slowly, slowly. I'm gonna wrap you up, okay, Pichu? I feel my life slipping away. Stay with me, Pichu. I'm not gonna let you go. There is only one remedy for this curse. You must give me the gem. What? No, no, you'll kill everybody. It's the only way. The gem is linked to my life force. Once it's in my possession, I will regain my strength. Excuse me, Mr. Varney? Can I get a moment alone with my daughter, please? Thank you. How you doing? Ted, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. First off, that's a lie. You know, for a fact, you've never been scared of anything in your life. That's true. Look, I know I'm not a good dad or a smart dad, but I still have some dad wisdom for you. When I was your age, a weird guy in a van outside my school asked if I wanted to see his baseball cards. I said yes without thinking. And he took me in the back of his van and showed me his giant collection of pristine baseball cards. I had a lot of fun. And I'm thankful I put my trust in that creepy weirdo. So I think you should trust your weird, murdering monster friend. It's the grown-up thing to do. Thanks, Dad. That makes a lot of sense. No problem, kiddo. I need a bit to think. Come be in my office if you need me. Your partner made a very poor choice taking the evil one from us. was letting him live. It was selfish of me to want him to suffer forever. I won't make that mistake again. Drink it. It's time for you to stand beside me and right the wrongs of this universe. I'll drink that. rests in Pandora's hands. And what if she fails? Then there will be no stopping him. She is our last hope. 
Stop hogging these blues. They're for everyone. Pass those blues. God. Now I know I don't do all the goody two shoe stuff you say everybody should do, but I can't help it. And I'll do whatever the heck I want, okay? Anyways, I need your advice. A huge battle between evil and worse evil is about to go down. And I have a very big decision to make. What shade should I wear? That's a trick question. I know I'm gonna wear the zebra ones. In conclusion, why am I even talking to you? There's a new god in town, and his name is Psycho Gorman. And he's coming for you, buddy. So this TV won't stop bleeding. Okay, here's the deal, man. I'll give you the gem so you can kill that mean lady. But you have to promise that you won't kill us. Okay? I will not kill you, little creature. Or your family of idiots. Do you mean it? Yes. Wait, what about telling him not to kill everybody else on the planet? Oh, yeah. Oops. Oops is right. Oh, crud. What? Where's the gem? Your time is up, evil one. Oh, man! Get out of here, lady! Step aside! Hi. Shut up, thief! Just walk away, child. It's time I rid the universe of this cursed thing. Give me the gem, boy. No! Not until my family is safe. That's the deal. You don't get it. Do you, lady? Nobody tells me what to do. Not you. Not her. Not him! Yeah. Not the president. Not anybody! Baby, get you serious! Stop it right now! Never, ever, ever! That's some good parenting, honey. I wish I could help. But I'm just too damn lazy. You! Whoa. Susan. Think about what you're doing here. Hey! still forgive you for this if you stop right now. I'm ready. I, I'll go to therapy now if you want, if you still want to do that, if that's what you still want. Can you get Jen? 
Don't make me use this, bro. It's just like Dad said. People are the real monsters. And you're one of them. Is it not part of the Templar code to allow a defeated foe one last chance for battle, if requested? The Templar code says lots of things. You are weak, and we have the gem. There is no way you could defeat me in battle. I do not request hand-to-hand -hand combat. If you are truly the warrior you claim to be, you will honor this request. Name your contest. I will defeat you no matter the circumstance. Team Sock. You two plus me will be Team Hero. If Team Hero wins, we get the gem. And if Team Sock wins, you can have PG. Got it? Could you explain the switcheroo part again? Nope. Should have paid attention. Okay, chumps, let's do this. Ready? Set. Still out, Susan. Crazy ball! Understand sports. No. Do jumping jacks! Crazy ball. Crazy ball. What are jumping jacks again? Oh, for fuck's sake! Where are your gods to guide you now, Pantora? <laughs> Six points. One more point, and Team Suck wins. Dream on, backstabber! This is for the time you made me eat my own sandcastle! I was helping you! Now my beautiful sandcastle will be with you forever! <gasps> I was so sick, I had to miss a week of school! You're welcome! And 
I just wish that you would say you were sorry for once. And I'm always there for you when you need me, but I thought we were a team, and you're always beating me up and calling me names. I'm the heckin' best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freak all the rest. Yeah. hospital okay I can't feel my hand I think it might be broken Luke can you drive no the judgment is dead. you're toast now you big metal moron Defeat my holy blade. You are defenseless against me. Then I'll make my own match. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but I have something to tell you. so that I can be at peace. There will never be peace for you. 
I've been to the afterworld, and it's a place where fools like you suffer the worst. And my name is... Psycho Goreman. That's a beautiful name. You fought with honor. It's only fitting I give you a warrior's death. You know, I remember when this used to be a shoe factory. Mm. 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 How delicious. Uh. Well, what now? Now I will do what I was meant to do. Destroy everything. The age of chaos begins anew. Yes, and? And I will spare your lives. Take it. Really? I don't need it anymore, little one. For the first time in centuries, I feel whole. Thanks to your family, I now know the true power comes from within. The power of love. What? Goodbye, Mimi. Goodbye, Greg and Susan and... Uh, boy. It's time for me to take this newfound power and use it to destroy the galaxy. Let's go to the hospital. Okay, Greg, come on. Come. This way. Let's go. Okay. has erupted in downtown Spangler Springs as police are powerless to stop the rampage of what can only be described as a giant naked purple man. Alistair, come on, it's time for dinner.
doesn't know how to find us, does he? <sighs> right. Well, luckily Cortex has a plan B. There's always a way out. So, who wants to kill themselves first? <laughs>